All roads lead to burgers. Mouth-watering. Shimmering. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I want that standard double-double. What you want, Krupp? Can I do a cheeseburger animal style? You want onions on your burger? You know it. He's gonna do it. Let's bag it up. Bag it up. Bag it up. The magic is about to happen. Bag of goods. There it is. It smells right. Yeah. Two patties, baby. Let's do it. Cool. It's out here being Californians. Only in California. Yeah, cheers to that. We're back here live at Sacramento, California, in front of the Golden One Center as the Ducks take care of Rhode Island tonight, 75 to 72 to advance back into the Sweet 16 for a second straight year. Just a little bit of sample of kind of the flavor here in Sacramento, what we got to do. The other guy you saw on that camera, very handsome man. It's my photographer, Kevin Lund. He does all the dirty work. Looking for a little luck on the Ducks as Oregon tips off its one of the big dance. All right, here we go, home away from home. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise known as Sacramento Kings practice facility. Look at Eugene's finest. Sauce. Going inside, though, this is the new crown jewel of the NBA. It's the home of the Sacramento Kings. About a week ago in the semifinals of the Pac-12 Can you start from tournament. the top, Nick? Oh, man. Okay. Sorry. Golden sunlight is coming in here, so I got to shed the jacket. You can see oh, the Thank you, sir. Day. Luck of the Ducks tie. All right, gang, we're going to help send the team off to the arena at about 9.15 on four. Good day, Oregon. Play on through. Certainly hasn't seemed like one on the court. Just a couple of dudes wearing the same coat in downtown Sacramento. <laughs> Practice is closed. Don't look. Don't look. He didn't. He didn't look. Looking at Oregon being like their team, you know, for what you and, and Chris have done. And pride in that. Yeah, so much pride. So nothing says St. Patrick's Day on a game day. 11 a.m. tip. Oregon and Iona about five blocks that way. You work, I work. That's right. Woo! Rockstar sent us the register guard. Snap to it. Let's strike up the band. Get going to your duck fever. Some luck of the ducks. Oh, oh you'll be banned. Oh, we got the media. <laughs> oh, wow. What is it about this time of year where it ramps up to know that there is no tomorrow? Yeah, it's going to be the Um, you just you really start uh, thinking about the seniors. Live at the NCAA tournament with the ducks. Nick Krupke, Good Day, Oregon. Hey, Liz, yeah, the biggest change from a week ago in Sacramento, of course, we're two hours ahead. We all saw the clock. We said, oh, my gosh, it's five. But it was really three on the good side of the country. So we're inside here, the Sprint Center, home to the Midwest Regionals here in Kansas City, where the Ducks are certainly tasting the sweetness for a second straight year. All roads lead to Phoenix in the Final Four, but not before the Ducks took the floor in Jayhawk country. <laughs> Top-seeded Kansas is just 40 miles away from its campus in Lawrence. While third-seeded Oregon is a good 1,800 miles from Eugene. But that didn't stop the Pac-12 champs from making friends in Big 12 country. They're going to win it. You think? Yeah. What are your KU fans going to think about that? Uh, they're going to have to deal with it. What's better than a signature? Thank you. A selfie. It's the men of Oregon were the men of the people after their shoot-around in downtown Kansas City. You know who that is? Uh, not really, but my dad told me that he was great, so. Dylan Brooks, he's really good. Pac-12 Player of the Year. Duck great Freddie Jones was in this spot as captain during the Ducks' Elite Eight run in 2002. As a group, we handled it really well. We, we seized the moment. We, we lived in the day-to-day -day atmosphere, and, you know, we enjoyed it, and we got the best out of it. Looking to get the best now out of them. Sam Barlow High School graduate, one-time Blazer, and former NBA slam dunk champion serves as an undergrad assistant to Dana Altman. Not everybody can, can have this moment, so, you know, enjoy yourself. To, uh, use it as the fullest. It's not guaranteed anymore, so give it all you got. If Oregon is to get back to an Elite Eight for a second straight year, they'll need to corral the Big Ten tournament champion, seventh-seeded Michigan Wolverines. We've got to do a better job. You know, our guys know that. Um, we've got to be sharper with our execution. We've got to make teams guard a little bit longer. We, we had some quick possessions, some bad possessions that uh, we won't be able to get away with against Michigan. So here we go, Oregon and Michigan, a 409 Pacific time tip in the Sweet 16 tomorrow winner draws Kansas or Purdue. Live in Kansas City, Missouri at the NCAA tournament, Nick Krupke, Fox 12 Oregon. Nick, can I get your expert opinion? Uh, so my bracket has sure, Oregon going all the way. Do you think I have a shot here? Okay. I think they're going forward. Well, you know, tomorrow, you know, Michigan's one of the hotter teams in the tournament, certainly, but uh, Oregon's pretty good, too. Remember, back-to-back Pac-12 regular season champs have shared that this year. 
you know, but then you play here in this building against Kansas, which is 40 miles away their campus in Lawrence might be a tough task top seed on that side of the bracket, but anything is possible and you know, going to Arizona this time of year sounds pretty good too. So you might be on to something. Okay. Yeah, to it's, to it's all madness. It's also unpredictable yet fun. Our producer yeah. Katie, she also chose Oregon, so we'll see. All right, Nick, thank you so much. She wears that green and yellow proud. Yep, she you does. Bet. You know, last Sunday against Rhode Island, it was the shot. Today it was the rebounds more than one. He's going to embrace the madness. The Ducks have certainly done that. Now one step away from the Arizona desert and that final four. Yeah, we'll bring on those Jayhawks. Top seeded Kansas going to be a Saturday tip. 549 Pacific time. Winner moving on to Glendale in the final four. So Oregon now 5-1 all time in the Sweet 16. 1-5 in the Elite Eight. That won 1939. Those tall furs that won it all. Later in the show, some of the Duck families celebrating big today in Kansas City. Live at the Sweet 16, now the Elite Eight in Kansas City, Missouri. Nick Krupke, Fox 12, Oregon. Tonight, the Oregon Ducks are just one win away from their first Final Four appearance since 1939. Fox 12's Nick Krupke is live in downtown Kansas City ahead of tomorrow's Elite Eight matchup with number one Kansas. Hi there, Nick. Yeah, guys, you know, Oregon, they got the program record right now. 32 wins, but 33 is the most elusive win of all for them at this point in time. Third seeded Oregon going to enemy territory, of course, those top seeded Jayhawks here in Casey, Missouri. Kansas is certainly in a home away from home. Yeah, the pressure is on now. Oregon and Kansas last met in the tournament 2002 in the Elite Eight when Luke, Luke and Freddie fell short of that final four. Later tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll dig into the Portland, Kansas connection with the Lucas family. For now, live at the NCAA tournament in Kansas City, Missouri, Nick Krupke, Fox 12, Oregon. And Nick, I know it's going to be a tough game, but hey, do you think, you know, my bra yeah. bracket's still doing uh, all right there because I have Oregon taking it all. Liz picked Oregon to win it all. <laughs> I'm proud of her. You know, I know you're, you're, you're kind of the new, the new one on the block and you rode the Ducks <laughs> all the way, but look, look how far you've gone, right? Okay, everybody yeah. said Chris Boucher was going down and they're done. Hasn't happened yet, so you just might be right. Yes. All right, go Ducks, the Krupp, thanks. And we so all much. want to go to Arizona. So oh, there you go. It. Yeah, take me with you. The Oregon Ducks are one win away from their first Final Four appearance since 1939. Nick Krupke is live in downtown Kansas City ahead of tomorrow's Elite Eight matchup with number one Kansas. Krupp, bring back a Duck victory, would you please? Or, or we'll meet you in Phoenix. <laughs> what do you say? I got so many people say, like, hey, bring back some of that barbecue. You want some wins. You know, yeah. we only have so many carry-ons we can bring on the plane. So, you know, the Ducks, they got a program record right now, 32 wins. They want that elusive 33rd for that trip to Glendale and that Final Four. They're the third seed, but they're certainly the underdogs in this one as the Jayhawks' top seed in this Midwest region. It's going to be enemy territory as well. Yeah, Krupp, I see that uh, the Ducks are seven-point underdogs in this game. What are yeah. your thoughts? You know, that's all right, but they were a pointer dog, I think, yesterday by the time they tipped with Michigan as well. Yeah. But that's, you know, understandably so. I mean, there's going to be about maybe 600 Duck fans with really kind of uh, prominent boosters and family members, and the rest of the arena is going to be completely blue. It was rocking. We were editing last night downstairs with the headphones on and feeling the vibration <laughs> of this building, too. I mean, it's an NBA building, seven layers up, so it's a big one. It's going to be wild, but these guys have kind of played the same thing when they went in the Pac-12 tournament two weeks ago in, Arizona, uh, in uh, Nevada in Las Vegas against Arizona. It was kind of like Tucson North, so... They've been used to it. It's a tough task. Yeah. Could be up to it, no doubt. Still have to play the game, and we'll uh, have to see how it goes. That's right. They got to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Krupp, thanks so much. Like the Ducks, Kansas was in this spot one season ago, falling short in that Elite Eight game. And for one family from Portland with Kansas ties, it's certainly a house and heart divided. The bracket comes out, and I'm sitting there going, okay, please don't be Oregon. Please don't be Oregon. Okay, it's Oregon. Okay, great. Duck alum Richard Lucas suited up for Oregon from 1987 to 91. I've never rooted against the Ducks in anything the entire time I've, I, since I've been set foot on campus in 87. Now the agency manager at Country Financial in Portland is picking blood over alma mater. There is no torn. It is 100%. I, I want Kansas to win. When I was a kid, I was a huge Oregon fan. I mean, I wore Oregon colors every day. Jayhawks senior center Landon Lucas grew up a Duck fan, but the one-time Sunset student and eventual Westview High graduate 
traded in his duck walk for rock chalk. You know, my decision to come to Kansas was just something based off of how great Kansas was and less about the other schools. And so, um, you know, it, once I made that decision, there was you know, no looking back. No matter the outcome, dad comes up a winner. Others have asked, you know, what are you going to wear? And I'm like, I feel like I was on a red carpet or something. Like, I should say the name of some fancy designer. And nothing says passionate fan base like these KU supporters who recently named their twin sons Landon and Lucas. That was pretty cool. I mean, it, it just shows, you know, we got some great fans and some great supporters, uh, you know, in Jayhawk Nation. And I think what it shows is that Jayhawk fans, they love their team. Now, this is a double-edged sword a little bit. They really love their team. And when their team loses, um, they lose their collective minds. As for Oregon, already with a program record now, 32 wins. Number 33 is the one that looms so large. Win and push on through that Final Four in Glendale, Arizona. At the Midwest Regional Finals in Kansas City, Missouri, Nick Krepke, Fox 12, Oregon. We do have a team coverage tonight for the Oregon Ducks' big win. Fox 12's John Hendricks is live in downtown Portland, where fans are celebrating. But first, we're checking in with Fox 12's Nick Krepke, who is live in Kansas City tonight. Nick, a nail-biting game. Well, you know what? It wasn't even that close as we thought it might be. And I know that everybody watching was certainly entertained as the Ducks, certainly underdogs, they embraced that role. They rolled into Rock Chalk, Jayhawk country, and they walk out with a KC masterpiece. Now their first Final Four since the first Final Four. The Tall Furs won it all 78 years ago. I played against Arizona before in their house. I, think, I thought it was louder in there, so it was nothing new for us. Now you're going, you might as well win the whole thing. Might as well, like, we didn't, get, we didn't come, to, uh, come, come up short. Got to win the whole thing now. Mr. March goes into Mr. April. Yeah, yeah, sorry, this, this don't stop. Um, we're here, we're living in the moment, and um, we're going to thrive in this moment. But it's an amazing feeling to win in Kansas with all their fans. Six years, six years for this day. And I'm happy about it, you know, with these guys. I couldn't do it with a better, better squad right here. Oldest guy in the tournament, oldest guy in the Final Four, that's all right. Oh, no, that's great. Hey, I could be the oldest guy in 40 years. I'm going to say I was in the Final Four, that's for sure. Phoenix. Player of the year. I know why he's not. <laughs> Player of the year. That net in your hat, it's sweet. Yes, it feels sweet, man. You know, it's just a thing that, you know, we, you're bringing back to Oregon. We put Oregon on the map. You know, we, we buzzing right now, like TT said. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm sure it'll hit me, but right now it hasn't really hit me yet, but on the plane, I'm sure it will. Awesome. You're going to pack up that confetti and take it home? Well, I got it all over me here, and it's, I'm sweating and sticking to me. Not a very good feeling, but the last seven years, the guys that have been with us, but before that, the Fred Joneses, the Luke Jackson, Luke Redden, all the players that uh, since 1939, you know, we've waited a long time. Yeah, Dana looks very good, that confetti in his hair and his neck and his shirt and all over his body, taking that back on their flight home to Eugene now. So Oregon's now program record, 33 wins. They'd like to get 35 in that final four as they advance back into the big one. And for all the fans, the alums, the families, the boofters, everybody involved with this, what a feeling as they're two games away from winning a national championship. I know everybody personally, you know, outside of basketball, and that's the sweetest thing. I get, you know, it's almost like my kids, you know, is enjoying it, but, you know, it's all about them. I want them to get all the glory, and, you know, they did it. So. You going to Arizona? <laughs> Are you crazy? No, I'm going to be in Arizona. Lex, your brother's going to the Final Four. I know. I'm so excited. Go Ducks. I just look up to him. I mean, this is great. I'm happy to live in the moment with him, and uh, I'm Ready to go to the Final Four? It's amazing. I know how happy he is, and this is like a big, big moment for him. Yeah. We're very excited. We're so proud of him. We, we're just proud of him. It's the best moment today. Is the best moment for him. He deserves it. it. You know, it's a long process, but it's been a fun journey. And man, to see everybody celebrate, it's really special. I knew Oregon had a good team to beat. Kansas, which was ranked one or two in the nation all year long by 14 points. I never dreamed it. Well, just did it. Phil Knight there, more with our conversation of the Nike co-founder grinning from ear to ear, coming up in the 1030 hour. So now Oregon on to Glendale to await their national semifinal opponent, either Kentucky or North Carolina. They play tomorrow. The first game of the Final Four will be on Saturday right on the outskirts of Phoenix in Glendale, Arizona. Right now in Kansas City, Missouri, live. Nick Krupke, Fox 12, Oregon. All right, Nick, thanks so much. And 
Well, it's certainly a night to celebrate for Duck fans and alums as the Oregon men's basketball team advances to its first Final Four in 78 years. We are again joined live in Kansas City, Missouri, as Fox 12's Nick Krepke will have to keep that suitcase packed for Arizona. Just a quick dump out like we did last week in Sacramento. Wash them up and then pack it back up again. It's easy to do. Maybe some shorts and short sleeves this next time. Certainly embracing the madness, embracing the moment. Oregon did that playing up a whole nother level to knock off Kansas here in kind of their home away from home, just 40 miles from campus. A lot of happy faces in green and yellow, of course, including Nike co-founder, prominent booster, proud alum, Phil Knight. You've waited a long, long time like everybody else to right. get to this point. Well, it was it was really a remarkable game. I, I knew Oregon had a good team. To beat Kansas, which was ranked one or two in the nation all year long by 14 points, I never dreamed of. This building, it was about 90% KU. Oh, absolutely. Here. More than that. Uh, uh, Rob Mullins did a study. We had 2% of the seats. Wow. <laughs> What does it mean to be wearing that hat? Final oh, four? It, it's very, very rewarding. It's been, as you said, a long time, but it's very gratifying. Yeah, of course, the Ducks play in Matthew Knight Arena. They also play on Kilkenny Court for their former AD and also a prominent booster, Pat Kilkenny. And the community is going to absolutely, you know, love this experience. Uh, I mean, there's nothing like pride of university. Yeah, there was some disappointment not being a two seed going to San Jose, but I guess it's all right now. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny how it, it, karma is a funny thing, and Dana has it in spades. And, and you know, when you came here, his dad was able to get here easily. Uh, he coached in two places that were two hours away from here. Well, and one three hours away from here. And so this is kind of home for him in an odd way. Uh, I don't think we felt very much at home when we were here, but how about that? How about that? Yeah, yeah how about that? Yeah, Kilkenny, of course, big hand in getting Dana to come to Oregon as they were constructing Matt Court in the wake of firing Ernie Kent while he was AD. Big stuff. Now they await their first Final Four appearance, their first Final Four opponent. Kentucky or North Carolina. Who do you want? It'll be Saturday in Glendale, Arizona. One final time live in Kansas City, Missouri at the Elite Eight. The Ducks of the Midwest Regional Final Champions. Nick Krupke, Fox 12, Oregon.